Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you my November favorites. November has come to a close and now it's time to move on into the holiday season. So these are some of the products that I've been loving for the past month. First up are the Glossier Bomb.coms. This is the Birthday Bomb.com, but my favorite is actually the Mint, um, and these are the two that I have. And I love these. I've been using the Mint every day. It's in my purse, and I carry it around with me, and I just love it. It gives a little bit more of a matte finish, where this one has some glitter in it and gives a little bit of a shimmery finish. But these are really moisturizing. They last really long throughout the day, and I can't quite articulate exactly why I like them more than my um, tried and true just Aquaphor lip balm, but there's something about them, and the packaging, of course, just makes them a pleasure to carry around. Next up is a drugstore product that I think does not get enough hype and that is the CoverGirl True Blend Blush in the shade Light Rose and I've used this in several tutorials and it's a really great kind of mineral finish blush that has really great um, sheen to it. It reminds me of the Hourglass blushes or something kind of like that or like the MAC Mineralize blushes but this shade is perfect for um, fair skin like mine and I think it really just gives you like that alive like glowy look to your cheeks and I've just been absolutely loving this. I got this um, on recommendation from Nikki Tutorials, one of her videos she talked about this and I think it's just a great find from the drugstore if you don't want to go all out for like an hourglass blush or something. Okay this third favorite is my absolute favorite of all of them from the past month and that is the Sarah Hap the Nude Slip One Luxe Gloss. And I've talked about her other one that I have in Ballet Slip, which is the pinkier tone before, but this is just my absolute favorite color. And I'm gonna put it on now. I've been waiting to show you guys this because it's just like the perfect nude gloss shade. It just gives a hint of nude color that kind of cancels out the real color of your lips, but nothing too opaque so that it's high maintenance and you can't just apply it without a mirror. This you can definitely swipe on without a mirror in the car, on the go, whatever. And it's super long lasting, like it's a little tacky, but it stays on your lips really well through eating and drinking. Of course it's a gloss, it still kind of comes off fairly quickly. It's not like a matte liquid lipstick or anything. But for gloss, I think it lasts pretty well and I'm just obsessed with the color. This formula also never dries out my lips or anything. It just keeps them nice and hydrated and feeling great throughout the day and I'm just absolutely obsessed with these lip glosses. They also have slightly healthier ingredients in them I believe so I'm really into the Sarah Hap line. And then along the healthier train, I'm going to talk about the Osmosis Foundation. This is their Performance Wear Satin Foundation. I have the shade Golden Light, which is the lightest one they make in this foundation, which is a tad too dark for me, but I'm so obsessed with the formula that I just wear it and make it work anyway and kind of just use a lighter concealer and lighter powder to make it match a little better. But this formula is amazing. Again, it has healthier for your skin ingredients and I wore it nonstop this month and my skin was never like breaking out or irritated when I was using it. It just kind of keeps the skin Skin nice and soothed but still does build up to a nice full coverage so you get a lot of good coverage out of this a longer wear and it doesn't like clog your pores and make your skin feel irritated so I'm still absolutely loving this foundation even though I wish they had a fair shade and moving away from um, strictly makeup favorites the next favorite is a hair product and this is the L'Oreal extraordinary clay dry shampoo clay in a spray with three refined clays which is for normal to oily oily hair so this um, dry shampoo has been changing my life. I talked about how much I love Batiste and Batiste is still my number one favorite dry shampoo that I apply at night and in the morning when my hair has like tons of oil in it. But this one is for if I apply Batiste at night and then in the morning I just need a little bit of a refresh, I put this in because it smells incredible like you just wash your hair. And it still does give a little bit of that oil absorption that you're looking for in a dry shampoo, but I've literally had people in my office like say that my hair smelled good and that it smells like I just washed it even though clearly I haven't washed it in four days. So this is absolutely amazing if nothing else for the scent alone. This is really cheap too. I think it's like $5.99 or $6.99 something like that. You can get it at Target or the drugstore or whatever. And for that price I think this goes a long way because if you use Batiste all over to kind of um, achieve that oil absorption and then just use this for kind of scent and refreshing your hair then this will last a really long time. I've had this bottle for quite a while and it still feels like it's probably a little more than half full and I am just can't recommend this enough. You need this. And then another favorite, which is actually my boyfriend's favorite of the month, is the this Lavender Essential Oil Blend. And it's one of these roll-on essential oil things where it has a little roller ball, like a roller ball perfume, and you can apply it, you know, um, on your neck or on your wrists, other pressure points, anything like that. And it just has this really soothing lavender scent. We put it on before bed and is just super relaxing and kind of calms you down and gets you ready to go to sleep. And I've been loving it because I haven't been sleeping that well lately, so it kind of just smells nice and kind of gets you in the mood to go to bed. 
and my boyfriend's obsessed with it. He steals it out of my drawer and puts it on every night. And we picked this up at Bed Bath & Beyond, but they have these all over. I know you can order them on Amazon and everything too. And my final favorite of the month is my book favorite, and that is Carrie Fisher's memoir called Wishful Drinking. And I thought this was one of the best celebrity memoirs I've read in a while. It's really um, a short book, easy to read. Um, the chapters are kind of snappy, and basically she has a one, every single line of the whole book is a hilarious one-liner. Like the way she tells her story is just full of humor, um, even when she's talking about serious topics like, you know, substance abuse and other like really kind of heavy hitting topics. She also touches on like Star Wars, so if you're a huge Star Wars nerd, um, this book would be really interesting for you. But even if you're not, um, I'm not really super into Star Wars and I still super enjoyed hearing all of her stories. And I didn't really know that much about Carrie Fisher, but after reading the book, I feel like she was just so amazing. So I highly recommend that if you're looking for something like quick and easy to read, but that's super fun and entertaining. So that's it for all my favorites for the month of November, and now I'm ready to go into December and get ready for the holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. As always, all the products I mentioned will be listed down below in the description box, so click down there if you want to read about those. I'm also uploading three days a week at the moment on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, so subscribe down below if you haven't already so you don't miss my next video, and thank you so much for watching.